For the fourth time in a row, the Bank of Canada held its key interest rate steady at 5%. There's a clear sense that, yes, inflation is coming down, but we remain concerned about the persistence of underlying inflation. Monetary policy is working, but we need to let it keep working. But for the first time, Governor Tiff Macklem signaled rate hikes are likely over, though he avoided giving a timeline for interest rate cuts. I worry that uh, you know, putting it on a calendar is, you know, it's a false sense of precision. We're going to have to see how inflation evolves. Higher interest rates make it more expensive to borrow money, and they are having an impact. Consumer spending has slipped. The job market has slowed. The economy has stalled. While the path has been a bit bumpy, overall inflation has cooled from a peak of 8.1% to 3.4% over the past year and a half. We haven't been pushed into a recession. I mean, we've seen unemployment rate, you know, ticking up certainly since the spring. But we haven't seen the kind of job losses we normally see when you have this big, giant tightening cycle. Still, risks like shipping disruptions in the Red Sea threaten to throw the fight against inflation off track. Experts say the Bank of Canada is in a tricky spot. If you start lowering too soon uh, and, and inflation starts to pick back up, then again, you run this risk of, of you know, inflation getting out of hand and then destabilizing those expectations. So there won't be any interest rate relief for many Canadian households just yet. Most market watchers think the central bank will start cutting rates by July. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.